Don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. So, you. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no one fucks with us. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Yeah. Whoa, shit, my voice went really high there. You found out that the survivors have stayed at the farm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used really? to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. What well, the fuck? Entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. And what when the, what happens when the fuel runs the fuck out? Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. I mean, honestly, what happens? When you know everything goes to fucking hell, and the gas is all gone, what do you do then? Hey, generator might be a problem. Andy said it's tricky, and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor in. I'll keep looking around. All right, I don't keep me posted. Why don't I mention that other people have been here? That would be a good a good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Hi. Hi. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Fence Fight or flight. In about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Yep. We'll stay attentive. Okay, and loading! Because now we're out in the field. Look at how far away the house is, Jesus. Shouldn't there be more trees along that path there? So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. Yeah. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. It what? wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. Oh shit! I'm I'm sorry. Right. Pull it, call him out on it. I tried to civil at least. Uh, I'll say that one. to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Crow, ew! Why is that crow eating a walker? Crow, that is not a good idea. He is rotten and stuck to the fence. I think. Lee, it's dead. Making on, sure. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. No, he the said like bugs in his zappers. Right? It better be. It better fucking mean it. Push him off. I think it's just called zombie. They don't even go the extra mile to say Stop. walker. Push him off. Looks like he's stuck. Push him off. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. Farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it would suck good there from the early days. See, now I want to push him off. That's stupid. It's like I had to examine it. Sure, there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Uh, it's, it's dangerous. dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on that? Ambulance. They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Eh. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. Shit. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. 
It's There's true. I see it. If they run out of fucking gas, we are fucked, and this is the the worst possible place to be. I like anything. No. Okay. Push. She's fucking stuck. Man, the vents burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. Wow. <laughs> You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. 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 I don't think anyone could ever get used to the smell of cooked dead there. zombies. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Oh, fuck you! I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they They've better be. As food as they say, I, I think so. They're not true about it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting they in. Assholes. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> okay, now do I jump over? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Oh, shut up, Mark. You help here, Lee? Yeah. So I, he like jumps over, I take it calmly. Mash the A button to lift the zombie in the post. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. That's why. Oh fuck! What the? Get to the gate! Uh, fuck it, tractor! No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. I got one of you. I already got one of you there. You fuck with us. Now we'll take what we want. The blades are stuck in the dirt. Behind the tractor. Okay. And give us the food. What about all the rain of the goods? Now we're gonna take the No fuel. Of course. I see him. Hey, we had a day and had a little bit of yogurt. Shit, something's still blocking it. What about food? You you really think you Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! The shit, that hurts. Go now. Dude, whoa, shit, that one hit the top of it and bounced off. Ugh. Fuck, we're gonna hit that zombie. What happened? Really shit. You it's one now. of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to we move. Now you're fucked. There we go. Where do I think I'm going? I'm going to the fence as you bounce arrows off the top of this thing. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Obviously a fucking lot of them. Give it the food! What do I do? Ah, oh, kick him in the face! Kick him in the face again! One more for good measure? Nope, mash A button. You okay? Yeah. Bear. Come on. The gate's right there. I didn't feel like that was gonna happen. It was kind of obvious. A zombie chasing you while well, there's a flying. He's probably gonna get shot in the face. So you wait for us here, huh? Lee, what's wrong? I thought this place. 
place was safe. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Fucking bandits. They have no right being out here. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the What kind of shit is this? I don't know. People on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Yeah, true. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Okay. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's gotta watch the motor in until we get back. True. Hey, kid, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I when did they show up? Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Kenny just kind of wanders over towards the kids. Like, hey, look, kids. Oh shit, I legged up. Whoa, that was, that was weird. Hey, Clint, Clementine. You like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Okay. He just jumps off like, I'm ready! Any specific way that I have to push her? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Yeah, lucky Probably. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. <laughs> Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? Clementine! You smart little girl that somehow knows lots of things. Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah. Me too. We're safe here. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? They won't Look get you. To Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. Yep. All right, Clint. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah. Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. She said, "Calm the fuck down." Doctor Kenny. How the hell? I have to walk all the way around the damn swing. He's like really, really fucking throwing Duck hey, there. Found any <laughs> just trying to make sure this shit I just need as we decide to make this a more long-term solution to those people in the woods seems pretty safe 